the City of Lawrence Board of Public Works and Safety uh, June 27th meeting will come to order, please. Uh, Chair does recognize a quorum. Uh, and so the first item on our agenda is the approval of the regular meeting minutes from June 13th, uh, 2024. Is there a motion? I move approval of the minutes. Thank you, Ms. Lawrence. Uh, I'll second. And uh, is there any uh, discussion, uh, additions, corrections? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. The uh, minutes from the June 13th, 2024 meeting are approved. Uh, the next item is unfinished business, and uh, we have none. And the next item is under new business, which is item A, which is a request to reassign reserve police officer Nicholas Hensel. Um, sir? Scott Evans, Lawrence Police Department. Thank you very much. Uh, that's, you're going to read off what, we, what we're, we're requesting? Please. Okay. Just from the chief. Uh, dear members, Nick Hensel has served as the City of Lawrence Reserve Police Officer assigned to the SWAT team as a medic for over 11 years. Looking to further his experiences within the Reserve Division by taking on a new assignment, right? Uh, the Chief is requesting that Nick Hensel remain as a police reserve, a reserve police officer with the City of Lawrence and just be reassigned to the Arson Investigations Division as an investigator, which would be effective August 14th, 2024. Uh, a little bit about Nick. He's uh, been with the City of Lawrence Fire Department since 2010. Um, he has a multitude. His rank, his permanent rank is a lieutenant. Uh, he has an associate's degree. Uh, he is an EMT. He's a fire investigator. He's certified in hazmat materials as a technician. He's a roper rescue technician. Oh, that's just to list a few of the many accolades, and he was in the U.S. Navy prior to that. Uh, he has received Firefighter of the Year, the Fire Chief's Award, Professionalist, Professional Excellence Award, Medal of Bravery, and the Medal of Valor through the Lawrence Police Department in an incident he was involved in as a medic. So that's our request. All right. Uh, thank you very much for that, uh, Mr. Evans. Um, questions from the board? Is there a motion? I move approval to um, move Reserve Officer Hensel to this new position. It's been moved. I, I will second. Uh, any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. Uh, the next item is item B, which is a notification of Task Force Number 12 with Shrewsbury for uh, preparation and submittal, preparation of bid documents, procurement, at administration of the 2024-1 uh, Community Crossing Grant Resurfacing Program in the amount of $35,000, 100. Um, I understand that this is um, advisory primarily. Uh, this is Rahel. Yes, so um, the Department of Public Works has already has a contract with Shrewsbury. This is just a new task order with them that we wanted the board and the public to be aware of. Um, NDOT did afford, uh, award the City of Lawrence in the first round a little over a million dollars. And this is the bid process and all of that paperwork and administration, the next step in securing those funds and doing this project. Mr. Wilburn? Uh, no, I, I, I do concur with uh, what Renee has just described. We also have been in conversation uh, with Shrewsbury recently uh, to discuss the lot at 56th Street uh, repair mm -hmm. on the uh, phase two of the CCMG grant. And we've come to an uh, understanding, and Renee, please add in if you have any additional comments, that that is the uh, purview and responsibility of the city of Indianapolis. But we want to be a good partner. We don't want to allocate those CCMG funds to uh, thoroughfares that are, are in the sole purview of the city of Indianapolis. So. Uh, to that end, what we've been in contact with and discussing is looking at local roads and streets that need repair in the city of Lawrence and, and making sure that those funds are, are directly allocated towards our, um, our infrastructure. If that makes sense. Thank you, sir. Um, I, I, I have a question. Uh, yes, sir. The resurfacing that's going on as we speak on 56, is that is that part of this project here? Uh, um, yes, a, por a portion of it. Um, but that's, that, that's, that's Andy. Go ahead. Yeah, that's, that's, that is coming out of every year 
we have through local roads and streets. Mm -hmm. This is NVH funding. Okay. So this through one. Local roads and streets, we allot for us to do some strip patching in addition to the community crossing grant projects. So this community crossing grant that they're going to be preparing for is for the Geist Valley subdivision, 52nd Street from German Church to Sandwood, which is that entrance into Winding Ridge mm -hmm. and around the roundabout and back. Fairways East subdivision and then Carroll Road from Pendleton Pike to 79th Street. So they're not completely resurfacing uh, at, as a part of this particular street. Yep, 56th Street. But we are the patching that, and the milling that uh, Renee mentioned is again is under the purview. We have historically um, done work for Indianapolis when we should probably have consulted them prior to beginning work. So what we've what we've come to the realization is and uh, communicating that that will no longer be a process by which we will operate in the future. So uh, we wanted the uh, board to know that we have spoken with Shrewsbury about this particular issue. They've done PACER report analysis and they've sent that to us, simply meaning that they're looking and rating the roads in terms of how how they are uh, maintained and that PACER report, we've had a copy of, we, we've been reviewing that and in consultation with them as well. So um, these things are kind of like a new process for the city of Lawrence rather than um, just, just arbitrarily picking parts of the roads that don't belong to us and repairing them and utilizing money that we probably could save. Mm -hmm. So. so you are actually looking at the condition of the pavement yes, and, yes, and, and that, making a determination. Making a determination. Ideally, what we want to do, and, and we have discussed this internally, is create a master plan mm -hmm. of how those roads and, uh, and that infrastructure will be uh, repaired in the dates and times. And eventually, and not in the distant future, but what we plan on doing is making that information available to the public. So then they will have an idea of, of, of okay, this is when this particular segment of the roads will be repaired. Just becoming a lot more um, transparent and becoming a lot more accountable uh, to our public. I, I think uh, that would be greatly appreciated by the, by the citizens of our community. And that's what this task order is about today, yep. transparency and making sure the public's aware of what we're doing, why we're doing it, and how we plan to, to right. do it. And, and it, it should be noted that once those funds, those CCMG, CCMG funds, once we've, we've allocated those for those particular projects, the city stands to benefit from those grants in the future. So it impacts us both now and our, our future uh, infrastructure. So it won't be so much of a, a mishap uh, repairing things that should have been repaired on a continuous basis. It gives us that opportunity to, 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 to kind of triage as we go on. I do have, a, a, I think, a quick question. Um, there is an existing contract with Shrewsbury. Yes, ma'am. Yes, the $35,100, is that already part of that contract, or will that be in addition, an addition to the That's contract? part two of the grant. Right. And so what that means is it's a matching grant, so we have to come up with a certain allocated fund and then they will match those funds however it should be noted that there is a lot of wiggle room once we once we've determined that for example in that case analysis 56th street was included and what ends up happening and and this is just for the public to know what ends up happening and i'll give you an illustration like pendleton pike obviously that's in dot uh 56th street all the major thoroughfares that's indianapolis well a lot of those major thoroughfares are heavily trafficked and there's a lot of uh, infrastructure issues, but what people believe to be the case is not actually accurate. Those are not under our ne necessary jurisdiction per se, but we end up taking the financial hit. And, and what we've determined, what we've discussed is that um, that's not fair or equitable. So we need to get in communication. We have been with the city of Indianapolis DPW, they have a great team there and we're beginning the process of mending those relationships if they were fragmented and try to begin that process of repairing our infrastructure at a rate, a rate, excuse me, and, and, a, and a methodology that is acceptable for this body and for our citizens. Very good. Okay. I understand that there's, uh, we don't really need to take a... No, there's not any vote needed. And just for transparency's sake, we will come back before the board when we're ready to actually do construction because we'll have to have an inspection service. Sure. Yep. And 
my history is that the people that draw the plans and do the estimating are the best to do that inspection. So there will be another Shrewsbury task order for inspection There are services. different trains of thought on that. <laughs> yeah. And we'd like so, to hear those trains yes, of thought as absolutely. well. Yes, absolutely. We can talk about that yeah. outside of... Yeah, or if you have a different opinion, we're glad to hear that's it. That's exactly right. And, and, and here's, we want to be accountable. That's right. And I think that what the, the overarching message that we want to convey as a DPW is that we understand that um, that these these issues, in, in, in including um, trash, including roads, including major thoroughfares, these are these are these are issues that impact people on a daily basis. Right. And they impact the quality of life and their livelihood and the, and, and the way in which we operate is critical. So what we want to do is convey those messaging to you so you can, if there's, if there's anything that we're not doing that, that you would like for us to do or if there's ways in which we can do it better, we would like to hear that. We, I, I don't believe in, in, in making decisions unilaterally. We need to collaborate. And what I've discussed with our team is that we train up, down, and out. And that's important for the public to know. We want input for the pu from the public, even if it's critical, because it helps us do our job better. And so that's the purpose of us being here today, is to make sure that you're informed as a body. And if there are any uh, roadblocks or, or, or pitfalls that you may see, uh, that, you will, uh, that you will let us know, and we can make adjustments when necessary. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Wilburn. Very much appreciate that. So there's not a motion or a vote. No, no, it's no. just information. Okay. Informational okay. purposes. So. Good information. Good information. Thank you. Good discussion. Thank you. Uh, next, uh, I, do we, we have our city attorney, uh, Ms. Finley. Uh, are there any comments from the administration no, this evening? Administration. All right. Thank you, Thank you very much, Ms. Finley. Uh, the chair would like to uh, uh, acknowledge and, uh, and thank and recognize uh, the attendance of our city council president, uh, uh, Betty Robinson. Uh, council, councilor, do you have any comments that you'd care to make uh, to the board? Well, th thank you for being here this evening. We're, we're, we appreciate that. Uh, any uh, citizen comments? I don't see anybody uh, in the audience. Double checking uh, right check now, sorry. I gotta find my outlook. I didn't have it up, I apologize. That's okay. Nope. Nope. Okay. Chair would entertain a motion to adjourn. I move. I move adjournment. All right. It's been moved and second. I'll second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, we are adjourned. Thank you very much, everyone. <laughs>